Thank you for joining this episode of Mobile Minute. In this episode, we're going to talk about disappearing data from iOS devices and the how, when, and why some of that data will disappear. So to help manage the storage capability of devices, Apple's iOS has a built-in timeline that purges data that's no longer in use. While this is handy for the average iPhone user, it can have considerable impact on iOS forensic investigations. Without timely mobile forensic extraction, key evidence can be lost, potentially impacting your investigation. Losing valuable iOS evidence sources can hamper your ability to identify actionable intelligence that can lead to more physical evidence. So data truly is fleeting, and there's a couple reasons why data may disappear off your device. The first one we want to talk about is wear leveling. Wear leveling in a cell phone is technology that's used in the phone's internal flash memory to distribute the right operations evenly across all memory blocks. It does this to prevent any single block from wearing out too quickly and extends the lifespan of the phone storage by avoiding hotspots where data is repeatedly written to the same location. This essentially ensures that all parts of memory are being used equally. The phone actually keeps track of how many times each memory block has been written to, and it actively moves data around to ensure that the writes are evenly distributed across all these blocks. This constant movement of data makes it more difficult to recover data that's been marked for deletion, because that marked for deletion can quickly become overwritten. There's also something called garbage collection on a cell phone. And this process reclaims memory that is no longer needed by separating valid data from invalid data and physically erasing that invalid data from the memory cells. And this frees up space for new data to be stored. So basically, when you go in and mark something to be deleted, it, the phone now considers that to be invalid data that you no longer want. And so this is communicated to, you know, within the phone, and it will run and collect that invalid data, mark that for de deletion, and make sure that, in conjunction with wear leveling, that it can use that space to put in new data. Now, within cell phones, you have five categories of mobile data that also disappears from the device at any given time. And we need to talk about these and some of the times that in which this data will expire. The first is cache location data. And after seven days, that data starts to fall off the phone. Cache location data is really important to know when a crime was committed, the activities leading up to or following an incident, and this can help you to unlock additional physical evidence. Cache location can be used to identify where the device was at a specific time. Based on that, and extracting that data promptly can allow investigators to see if there was additional information such as uh, CCTV, DVR footage that could capture additional evidence. But you have to grab that within those seven days before that expires. The next is the Knowledge C and Biome data. That will stay on the phone for 28 to 30 days before it begins to expire. And the Knowledge C and Biome artifacts provide really important insight into a user's action in mobile applications. This data is essential in iOS forensics and can provide insight into how a user interacted with their digital device within a given time frame. Uncovering what applications have been used, during what times of the day, even if the application has been deleted, can support pattern of life analysis that can be correlated to other evidence sources. Deleted photos. Once a photo is marked for deletion, that will be moved into a deleted folder, but not may not be fully removed from the mobile device. These files can be a great source of evidence showing a suspect, victim, other evidence related to a crime with valuable time and location metadata. But again, after 30 days, those start getting marked as invalid data, and the garbage collection where leveling can pull those off the phone. Deleted iMessages. After 30 days, deleted iMessages begin to fall off the phone. 
Clearing communications from a device as suspects can be hasty and not remove all the messages or all the media completely. Providing detailed accounts of conversations related to a crime or connecting or expanding suspects with these conversation trails can show planning, executing, or even covering up of a certain crime. Safari history, another 30-day exploration. That internet activity is a key component for an iOS forensic investigation and often provides indications of an individual's action around planning a crime, checking on authorities' awareness of if a crime even has taken place, or you may find steps taken to obfuscate actions which can lead to additional evidence sources or further reinforce timelines for planning of an offense. Also introduced within iOS 18 is a new 72-hour inactivity reboot of a device. So if a device is on and is in an AFU or after first unlock status, status and the passcode hasn't been put in to the phone within 72 hours, Apple has instituted an inactivity reboot that after that 72 hours, that phone is going to automatically reboot itself. And when that automatic reboot occurs, it puts the phone into a before first unlock status. Knowing this information is extremely important for forensic investigators because it illustrates the need that you have to get phones onto a gray key in an expeditious manner in order to preserve the data that's on these phones. What it does is it prevents or it freezes the activity on that phone if you get it onto a gray key within that 72 hours of it last being unlocked. Backlogs, what they are, you need to get devices onto a gray key as soon as possible in order to try to avoid the loss of any of this data that we've discussed so far. We've also written a blog on the five iOS forensic evidence sources to capture before they expire, and it can be found at this location that's on the screen. With that, thank you for joining this episode, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mobile Minute.